first experiment that we did last year, this was done during March and May of last year. What we wanted to do was to evaluate the effects of all these different ganses that we had learned to make and what sort of effects that the fields from these ganses would have on, the very, on different seeds. And the whole idea behind this experiment was to see whether if we store seeds, uh, could we enhance their properties with the GANS fields? So could we have a set up a huge storeroom, put in some GANS and those fields would, uh, would preserve and enhance benefits for those seeds? So that was the whole idea behind this experiment. What I looked at doing was I took uh, six different seeds. So we had uh, beetroot, rocket, lettuce, green ones, lettuce, red ones, tatsoys and kale. So I tried to get a nice uh, variety into the mix. I then also used different ganses. So we had CO2, we had our copper oxide, zinc oxide, CH3, I then created a mix of ganses, which was a mix of uh, CO2, CH3 and zinc. Uh, we also had uh, made some seawater gans and then Ormus, which I've labeled as Ormus because that's a product that we had been using, um, which is very similar to the sea gans, but just made differently. So I wanted to see whether that would have an effect. So what we did is I broke the experiment up into three parts. I exposed the seeds just for one day and exposed seeds for five days and 10 days. And I'll show you how I, I did this experiment. Is I had a little glass jar and I placed a small amount of the actual GANS into the glass jar and then I filled it with water. I then full test the plastic test tubes with all the different seeds and I immersed these test tubes into that water. I placed those into the jar. So the whole idea was the seeds were to remain dry but through the water I was thinking whether they would be affected by the fields of the gans. So there's the uh, all our bottles that we had in a row with all our test tubes of all the seeds sitting in the bottles. So the, the sets that I we had left soaking for one day, I then took some of those seeds and planted and then I put them back to soak for another couple of days. So I did this so that the final seeds that I planted uh, had been sitting in those jars for 10 days. I seeded a, a row of our treated seeds that we had been soaking. And then next to that, I did a row of untreated seeds. So I just wanted these as a bit of a standard to see how they would compare. So the ones with a tag lying down are the ones that we had uh, treated. These are our trays on our seeding table. So the picture on the left, uh, that was the 24th of March, and uh, the picture on the right was sort of a week later on the 31st of March. Yeah, there's uh, further pictures, uh, oh, that was on the 7th, another week later, 7th of April. So you can see that they've all been growing very nicely uh, during that time. And um, what I've done now is I took a couple of close-up photographs so we can see a photograph on the left. Uh, those were all the seeds that had been exposed to the fields of the sea gans for one day. Now you can see the upright tags. That row is the ones that were treated and the one next to it was the untreated. So you can see the two rows of red lettuce there one was exposed to the fields and the other one wasn't. 
and those just show the different varieties. There's the kale on the right and another green lettuce on the left. Uh, the picture on the right is the five day soaking with uh, copper gains. And you can see there we've got tatsoys on the left, lettuce in the middle and our reds on the right. Also with the rows that were treated and untreated. Is the picture on the left was with the CO2 gains on five days. Well, both of them are the CO2 on five days. And it's just showing you our different varieties of seeds there uh, with the treated and untreated. There's another photograph of the zinc oxide for five days with a whole range of, of, of seeds that we had planted. Right, then what we had done is we had placed them into our aquaponics system on the 19th and trying to keep the conditions correct is uh, we planted all of our seedlings into the system on the same day. So even the ones that had only been soaked for one day were planted with the five day and ten day. So I try to keep the uh, parameters the same. So there they were planted into our system. That was the 19th. You can see how they had uh, grown. They're all lovely and lush. Um, so they were all seeded for one day, five day, ten days, all planted together. And we harvested them all on the same day. So this was about 63 days uh, from when we seeded. When we come to some observations, particularly at the seedling stage, uh, this pea photograph is 24 days from when we seeded. Uh, as I've said before, the row with the tag is the ones that we had exposed to these fields, and the control was the untagged. And what we had dis discovered, and I'm sure you've seen by now, is that there's really no difference. Um, the to us, the color was the same, the height of the little seedlings was the same, growth rate, uh, overall health. We couldn't really tell any difference uh, at this stage at all. Even at the harvest stage, when we cut the lettuce, there was also no difference in, in the color, the height, the health of the lettuce, or even in the weight. It was like cutting exactly the same. Um, lettuces that uh, we had uh, planted, whether they were exposed to the fields of the ganses or not. So we came to a conclusion is that the seeds exposed to the fields of the gans show no effect or changes. There was just nothing that we had uh, observed at all, which got us thinking as to now why is this the case? And we all know from our biology days that the seeds have a coating. So these seeds are effectively designed to protect themselves from all the fields in the environment until water is added to break through this protective layer. Uh, this is why certain seeds can sit dormant for years until the right conditions are created to allow germination. Uh, so our conclusion was that to, to, to get any effect is the seeds needed to be soaked with Gans water to allow the fields to penetrate through this protective layer of the seed. And that possibly the Gans water would be the key to unlocking this potential. So our conclusions was even though it was sort of a, a failed experiment in that we never saw any uh, direct results, what it has confirmed is, is that nature and, and seeds this is sort of designed the seeds to protect themselves until those right conditions are, are, are they exposed to the right conditions and then they will uh, germinate. So it was an interesting uh, experiment for us in the beginning because we, at that stage, we had 
very little understanding of uh, all the different ganses and, and what they're meant for, supposed to be used for. Mm -hmm.